Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Isn't it crazy to think that back in the day, car safety meant one thing, a seat belt? And then of course came airbags and ABS. And nowadays it's not uncommon for a car to have a rear parking camera. But what about four cameras? Or radar? Or lasers? Or how about a car that just stops itself? All that technology is available now. All in efforts to keep you safe. All right, so this is a Volvo XC60. Now, Volvo is a car company that pretty much is world-renowned for their safety technologies. Something that comes standard on this car is the city safety feature. It's got a little radar system in the front and up here in the mirror. Those work together to broadcast a signal out, determine how far the object is in front of it. It will not only just start to slow the car down, but it'll actually bring the car to a complete stop. That's pretty awesome, I think. That's a really cool piece of technology. It doesn't feel like it's overtaking you. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything that you wouldn't do. Kind of faith driven for you to actually uh, test it out because you just have to get going and take your foot off the gas and foot off the brake and let it come to a complete stop. Lane departure warning. Once you hit speeds of about 40, if you start to depart from your lane, then you get a quiet, nice little Swedish beep that reminds you hey, you're not in your lane anymore. It's got cameras on both sides of the car that actually detect the lines that are going by and it creates essentially a straight line or it reads it that way. If you start to move away from it, no problem. That kind of thing. All right, so this is the Acura MDX. It's got a couple cool safety technologies that uh, it's implementing. You can adjust the rear view camera. I've got my wide view, an aerial view in the back looking straight down, and then there's a normal view, which is just your normal view. It's a technology that a lot of people are implementing these days, so it's really great that Acura would take that one step further and make it very practical. Another little piece of technology that this Acura's got is blind spot detection. When something comes into its range, it realizes the driver probably can't pick up on this, so let me go ahead and warn them that there is something occupying this zone of the car. Acura also has a collision mitigation braking system, and I know that sounds like a legal term, but it's not. It's to help not necessarily avoid an accident, but to minimize the damages from. So if I'm coming up on a car too fast, it brakes, it tightens my seat belt, and it flashes brake, and it beeps at me. Hey, hey, we're getting ready here. So it's broadcasting a signal, looking for what's in front, and then assessing the closing range, much like a missile would do. Now we're in the Infiniti QX56, a behemoth monster on wheels. So one thing that uh, Infiniti does as far as taking things a step further is backup cameras. Well, Infiniti does this genius thing by taking that a step further and putting cameras all around the car. You get essentially a bird's eye view of the car and you get a 360 view around. And you might think that is not that applicable, but... So big ups to Infiniti for that, and would love to see that on other cars even, not just huge SUVs. Another thing we've seen in a lot of the cars today is lane departure warning that gives you a if you're starting to move out of your lane. Well, Infiniti does the lane departure prevention, which will actually use the brakes on the opposite side of the car. So let's say you're drifting to the left, it uses the brakes on the right to bring you back into the lane. All right, that's it for our day with crazy cutting edge safety tech. I mean, you really have to hand it to these manufacturers. They're implementing some really, really cool stuff, all in efforts to keep us safe. I mean, this thing, for instance, it just stops by itself. That's pretty mind-blowing. But it does leave me with one question. Does that mean that if I'm in traffic and I know I'm never gonna get into a rear-end collision, am I actually less interested in what's going on around me? Maybe I'm texting, reading a magazine, something like that. Who knows? But it does answer this question. Are the robots out to kill us? Yes. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Hopefully, see you next week.